the obituary of Dr. Richard John Bilwana Maponya. Dr. Richard John Bilwana Maponya was born 24 December 1920 in Klabine village in Limpopo to Mrs. Machichana Mary and Mr. Khabani Godfrey Maponya. He received his primary and secondary education at Rakopi School in Spitzkop, also in Limpopo. After completing his secondary education, he moved to Bulukwane and was trained as a teacher at Khaiso Missionary Teachers Training College. He later moved to Johannesburg in the early 1940s to be assigned a teaching post. While awaiting a teaching assignment, he took up a job at a fabric and clothing store in downtown Johannesburg. It is here that he first cut his teeth as a salesman in the retail space, which also uniquely positioned him for opportunities in other areas of the retail supply chain. It was during this time that Comrade Walter Sisulu recruited him to become a member of the African National Congress Youth League. And he used his position as a political salesman to focus on the politics of business. Since the apartheid laws prohibited black people from obtaining clothing store licenses, Dr. Maponya was unable to fulfill his ambition of opening a clothing store as the then apartheid regime rejected his application for a trade license. This notwithstanding the intervention of Mandela and Tambo attorneys, one of the first black owned and operated firms, law firms, to be established in the country. It was founded by struggle stalwarts Nelson Mandela and Oliver Tambo who were first introduced to Dr. Maponya through Comrade Susulu. Undeterred by what would be the first of many obstacles imposed by a discriminatory system that was designed to prevent black people from achieving their full economic potential, he opted to buy clothes and sell them from the boot of his car. Dr. Maponya's late wife, Marina, was a qualified social worker who practiced her profession for a short while before joining her husband in business in the late 1950s. After securing a trade license to sell non-luxury items, Dr. Maponya and his wife established a milk business called Dube Hygienic Shop. And this was situated in Dube Village. The business employed young people using a fleet of bicycles to deliver milk to customers daily. Through sheer grit and determination, that was driven by a relentless hunger for entrepreneurial success. Securing milk trading license set in motion what was to become a lifelong pursuit of building a successful business empire. Dr. Maponya's vision was ultimately to industrialize Soweto and turn it into a mega city. A vision he pursued and with discipline, hard work and perseverance. The business that Richard and Marina Maponya established contributed to the economic upliftment of those communities in which the business operated. Underpinning his drive for success was the issue of black pride. Africans building a vibrant township economy which would untimely, ultimately lay a firm foundation for the benefits of future generations. Over the next few decades, Dr. Maponya tenaciously expanded his business interests to include more supermarkets, petrol stations, restaurants, bus services, and bottle stores. He established Mountain Motors, the first 
Motor Franchise in Soweto, which was affiliated to and housed General Motors dealerships and later the first BMW franchise called Soweto BMW and one of two car hire operations in Soweto. Today, his vehicle interests have grown to include ownership of Motor City on Clipsprate Valley Road in Orlando, which was officially launched in 2012 by then President Kalema Motlante. The center currently houses VW and Toyota dealerships, BP Garage, a Tiger Wheel and Tire outlet as well. When Coca-Cola divested in South Africa, Dr. Maponya formed a consortium of black businessmen and registered a company called Kilimanjaro Holdings, which successfully bid for a bottling plant in East London, in the Eastern Cape. He successfully bid for one of the first cell phone service providers in the country as well. Given his love for horses and ho and horse racing, he decided to invest in the sector, but the apartheid laws at the time denied him a license to do so. Not one prevented from pursuing his dreams. Richard and Marina Mabonya became owners of a number of horses in the early 1980s, with each of them having their own racing colors. His first horse was called Another Color, and the second, Black Charge. Both boldly ran in ANC colors as a form of defiance against the apartheid system. As a black owner, most jockeys did not want to race for him at the time, with the exception of a British jockey who proudly rode another color to victory in one of the races which became the defining moment for the horse racing industry in South Africa. Being a visionary, Dr. Richard realized a lifelong dream through the development of Maponya Mall in Soweto, which was officially opened by former President Nelson Mandela in September 2007. This is the largest regional mall in a township and it became a catalyst for many developers in other townships across the country. Over the years, Dr. Maponya remained committed to fueling the passion for and growth of, entrepreneurial, of entrepreneurship in the township and other townships as well. He mentored and supported countless people, young and old, who possessed potential entrepreneurial skills. His unselfish nurturing of budding entrepreneurs and support for startup business firms forms part of the legacy that he leaves behind. In 2014, Dr. Maponya established the Dr. Richard Maponya Institute for Skills and Entrepreneurship Development, a nonprofit company whose primary objective is to de develop skills among South Africans and already practicing learner entrepreneurs in diverse sectors of the economy. In recognition of his role as a visionary and business pioneer, which rightfully earned him the title Father of Black Business, Dr. Maponya was honored with a number of honorary doctorate degrees from Swane University of Technology, Durban University of Technology, University of Johannesburg and Mangosuthi University of Technology respectively. He was a founding member of many businesses and business organizations including the National Federation, Federated Chamber of Commerce and the African Bank. His contribution to business and society won him many awards, including the Black Economic Empowerment Entrepreneurship Award from Wits Business School and Barlow World, Soweto Legendary Award, Financial Mail Little Black Book Lifetime Achievement Award, the prestigious Ernst Young 
Award, World Enterprise Award, the CEO's Global Titans Building Nations Award, and the South African Institute of Steel Construction Steel Award. Among his many accolades is that of being a loving father, a disciplinarian, and a man who loved God. He always merged the lines between being a father and us being his employees. So quite often we would have to remind him that he needs to wear his father hat when addressing us because he could not break between the two. Dr. Maponya's property development company won a string of awards for its role as a developer in the construction of Maponya Mall. It also received the Business Times Top 100 Companies Award and the Topco Media National Business Award. In 2007, then President Tabumbeki awarded Dr. Maponya the Order of the Grand Councillor of the Baobab in Silva. For, the, for his excellent contribution to entrepreneurship despite oppressive apartheid conditions and for serving as an inspiration to disadvantaged South Africans striving for business success. Dr. Maponya was a true inspiration not only to his children and family in particular, but also to the nation and continent. By continuing to work until his passing at the age of 99, demonstrated an exceptional commitment to his vision and effective execution of programs and projects. Soweto's gentle giant deservedly carved himself a chapter in the history of South Africa and Africa as a business legend pioneer and entrepreneur. He will be sorely missed by his children, grandchildren, family, friends, business community and broader society alike. He had a well-lived life that we all can learn from. As we mourn the passing of our father, uncle, grandfather, we are comforted by what Apostle Paul said in 2 Timothy 4, verse 78. I have fought a good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day. Not only to me, but also to all who have long, longed for his appearing. Dr. Maponya is survived by his children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, and uncle. Robala Kahujo, Klo, Sehod, Mawitz.